in a competition about 20 sets of tires. <laughs> All right, so things are really starting to heat up now. We've got this awesome Santander bike, and we're going to go and shred. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today, we've actually got a bit of a different one for you guys. So I'm here at Sheffield train station, and me and my dad are going to get on the two and a half hour train journey all the way down to London, because we've been invited by the CEO of MS UK, Motorsports UK, to go down for their night of champions at the Royal Automobile Club on Pall Mall in central London, which is super exciting. It's amazing where driving and drifting is taking me. Um, and we're just taking all the opportunities we can. So we're going to go down there. Um, we've got a nice meal and we're going to dress up super smart. Uh, we're also going to spend a day in London. It's the morning now. So we've got all the day to play around, have an adventure in London. So stay tuned and join me. Anyway, let's go. OK, so let's address the first thing first. This yellow face mask is looked horrendous, but it's actually super comfy. Uh, and my dad's just gone into M&S and I can guarantee you he's going to come out with drinks and definitely some Percy Pigs. Let's wait and see. Oh, and would you look at that. I knew you'd get Percy Pigs. So we have arrived in London St Pancras and we're going to make our way to the hotel, drop all the bags off and drop computers off and stuff. And then I actually need to go and buy another shirt. So we're going to go and try to find a shirt in London, which should be really easy. Um, but yeah, tonight is going to be so cool. We're going to dress up really smart and I'm super excited. So let's carry on with the adventure. I've actually been to London quite a few times, but I never cease to be amazed by St Pancras station. Everything here is just immense and it warms you up for when you step outside. You've got all the massive buildings everywhere. So yeah, super excited. I do really love London. So as we walk out of St Pancras Station, often there is one, maybe two if you're lucky, nice supercars. I might have seen them on my TikTok actually, but we're going to have a little walk. Okay, so nice Audi and what I believe to be a GT86 underneath the cover. But down there, You'll see the car is actually already on my TikTok, which is a chrome pink McLaren. It's absolutely insane. Okay, so sorry about the lack of talking. We're having a bit of a faff because the tube we need is shut. So we might have to do a bit of extra walking. And then I'm going to be super tired at the end of the day anyway. So try to do the little amount of walking we can and use all of the tube system. So face mask is finally off. I can finally breathe that lovely city air. Um, and maybe later we'll get something a little bit like these um, just to ride around on and have a bit of fun. Uh, but yeah, first drop everything off. Thank God we made it out of the tube station alive because we did not know where we we're going. Anyway, let's go. Ooh, I think I'll take a book. Oh. Oh, it's not real! Oh. Absolutely stunning. Wow. I'm blown away. I love London hotels. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm just going to give you guys a tour of the room. So yeah, now we're going to go out and uh, going to get on some bikes maybe, see what we can do. Ooh, ben and Jerry's. Right, anyway. Okay, so in London, gonna get a shirt. You excited for tonight? Posh dinner? Tuxi, yeah. It's put really exciting. Tuxedo on. But he's gonna put his tuxedo on. I'm gonna suit up and uh, both got dicky bows, haven't we? Oh, look, some can there bags. Oh, yeah, let's get some. We wanna get some bikes because we like that, but I'm not old enough to get on the scooters and stuff like that. So we'll have a look about these. All right, so things are really starting to heat up now. Got this awesome Santander bike, and we're going to go and shred. 
All right, so after we finally found a place to put both the bikes away, um, <laughs> we're gonna get some cookies. Peanut butter and milk chocolate. Peanut butter and milk, and peanut butter and milk chocolate cookie. I'm gonna have a triple chocolate one. They look quite good, so I'll show you guys. Okay, so triple chocolate chunk taste test. Oh my gosh, it's actually gooey in the bottom. Mmm. Okay, it's peanut butter and milk chocolate taste test. <laughs> All right, so we're in M&S. Just tried on some new new trousers, and we've got a new shirt and a new blazer. So, yeah, all is good. Okay, so as always in London, there are some cool cars. Now, the first one we've found is not actually a supercar, but it's this awesome Morris. Now, I don't know what it is about that, but that seems to have a lot of character, even with all those dents. And I think if it was stanced and on some like nice chrome wheels, it would look even cooler. Quite a nice CLA AMG. Not my kind of thing, especially in yellow. I can't say I have a bright pink car, but still pretty nice. Straight after that, RS4. Jesus. Ooh. All right, so because we're just being very adventurous today, we're getting some, some roll thing. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what it's going to be like, but we've got these cool drinks as well. So um, yeah, let's bring out the food. All right, so here it is. Looks pretty good. I'll tell you what it tastes like after I've eaten it. All right, that food was actually delicious. Little wrap, a um, little bit too spicy for me because I cannot tolerate any spice whatsoever. Um, but we've got a three course meal later and I, um, yeah, it's like two o'clock. So we didn't want to have anything too big. Um, although I do love food. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited for this dinner later, um, but we've just come back to the hotel to drop um, the new stuff we bought off and iron the shirt. This is the current outfit, you know, Jordans, jeans, normal top. Let's get changed into some cool clothes. Alright, so I'm all suited up with the little dicky bow and I've had actually, <laughs> we've actually had about an hour's sleep. And look at this, very nice outfit. Oh, who polished those shoes? They look really, really good. Yeah. Oh, that was, yeah, well, that was me. So anyway, I'm going to switch to the iPhone camera um, and we're going to go out to the Royal Automobile Club. Let's go. Okay, so we are now walking to the Royal Automobile Club. So I've got my invite here, very nice and shiny, from uh, David Richards, CBE, who is the chairman of Motorsports UK. You can see a logo at the top. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. You ready to eat ready. some food and talk to some people and look posh? Oh, they killed someone. Right, let's go. Okay, so it feels a little bit weird vlogging in here, uh, but we're inside the Royal Automobile Club and awesome BMW there. So I'm gonna head upstairs and see what the crack is. We don't know anyone who's here, or if anyone that we know is here. So we're just gonna head upstairs and find out. <laughs> all right, so we're all set up and we're just gonna sit down and eat the food. It looks delicious. Uh, and this place is absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna go and eat up my food and talk to some people. So let's go. The resumption of the sport brought with it a newly recognised motorsport UK discipline, drifting. The only judged form of motorsport to be sanctioned by the governing body, drifting is an art. The brand new three round Motorsport UK Drift Pro Championship began a brand's hatch, with 16 year old Max Cotton taking the inaugural title. Another first for 20. <laughs> Okay, so this has been absolutely amazing so far. They even came and talked to me and my dad, um, which I'll roll the footage of for uh, you guys right now. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, is in the room with us, Max Cotton, and Hannah is going to go quickly. I'm going to sneak up behind you, Max. Max, 2021. Oh, Dad wants to film. Should we sneak around? <laughs> um, you'll know what your social media handle is. I know that. That's for sure. Um, Max, tell me, um, talk to me about drifting. Because I know there are going to be some people in this room that are like, what is drifting? Me being one of them. Tell me a little bit about drifting. So drifting is essentially what you guys have probably done by accident, is when you put your foot down too early 
and the back end of the car just slides out and it puts a massive smile on your face. But <laughs> what we've decided to do as a group of people who love doing that is make it into a sport that's judged and we drive next to each other super close as fast as we can. And one of the main aims for this is to put smiles on everyone's faces. Um, and it's something that I just love doing as a kid, obviously. Um, but also, what I'm trying to do at the minute is grow the sport because it is, in fact, the fastest growing most sport in the world. Um, so, what I do on my YouTube channel, Max Drift, yes. I know it, um, <laughs> is I make videos of us going around to all the Drift Pro Championship rounds um, and having an amazing time. And, you know, my dad supporting me, obviously, through everything. Um, is absolutely amazing and we're quite a small team but we just love you know having fun um, and I was so happy when we um, won the Most Sport UK Drift Pro Championship this year. Max I'm fascinated by uh, at what moment, what car were you in when you first <laughs> discovered this talent? Was it, was it dad's car in a sort of Sainsbury's car park late at night? Um, you know when, when did that sort of natural talent shine through? Well, I started off like many in motorsport um, doing go-karting um, and I absolutely loved that and I thought this is absolutely amazing. I just love being behind the wheel of anything. And then I started sliding the car out in the rain one day and I thought, wow, this is, this is even more fun than, you know, just driving around normally. Um, so I did a bit of Google and a bit of YouTubing and figured out that drifting is a sport and now I'm just trying to, you know, bring innovation into the sport and try and grow it. Amazing. So what is the plan for drifting? Where is drifting going in 2022? Well, as I said, it is the fastest growing motorsport, so, you know, it's gonna go, it's gonna go big. You guys are definitely, I know lots of people don't know what drifting is right now, but it's definitely, you know, the up and coming sport. Um, and I think many of you in your lifetime will end up drifting. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm just gonna, I just, Is it? Yeah. I knew these place names would come in mm -hmm. handy at some point. Um, um, how often are you buying new tyres? Uh, well, Max goes through, I think, uh, on a weekend drifting in a competition about 20 sets of tyres. Oh, right. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I know the bill when I, you know, when I go and change my tyres, and it's, it, you know, it's not great, is it? No. But, um, you know, it's lovely that you're supportive and you're supporting <laughs> Max, but you know, is there a, is there a big plan? Yeah, yeah, no, Max, uh, luckily... Uh, have you got a tyre sponsor? We have... Oh. oh, no! <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got a tyre sponsor, and luckily... Do you want to give them a plug? Yeah, absolutely. We're uh, sponsored by uh, Westlake Tyres uh, at the moment, and, and uh, they're great. They provide us with all the tyres we need, uh, so that's really nice. <laughs> 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 I bet they're regretting that, aren't they? <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, but no, seriously, proud dad, supportive dad. What is your, what is your role with Max? Because young athlete, young driver is important at this stage too. But he has fun, right? Yeah, absolutely. He does have fun. He works really hard as well. So he works really hard for all his sponsors. And, uh, um, and uh, yeah, sometimes I feel a bit sorry for him because uh, I know a lot of people say, oh, he drives around in a thousand horsepower car. It must be fun for a 16 year old. But he works so hard for it. Uh, he also raises quite a lot of money for charity as well. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, last year he lost his mum uh, to cancer, but he managed to raise £8,500 uh, doing a live stream on his YouTube channel this year. <laughs> Congratulations. Well done, Max. Everybody, check him out on YouTube, if you've got YouTube. <laughs> um, and if you know how I can charge my electric car, I'd love to. <laughs> Thank you very much. Enjoy your menu. So that was amazing. It was great to, you know, tell all these people who are highly influential in the motorsport world about drifting. Uh, and it's actually such an honour to be here. So massive thank you to Motorsports UK for inviting me down here. Um, and even people like Jackie Stewart is here. Um, Sir Jackie Stewart is here. It's an insane night. I'm so, so happy to be here. Um, but yeah, let's keep, see what we're doing. All right, so we've just got back to the hotel and it's actually 20 to 12. It's way later than I thought. I wondered why I was getting really tired and lightheaded, but what an amazing night. 
I mean, just so much went on. Um, but we've still got more adventuring to do tomorrow, so do stay tuned. But I am shattered, and I think you are shattered as well. Shattered. So we're gonna get some sleep. Good morning, so you join me the next day. Um, I've just got ready to go up, and I'll tell you I'm absolutely shattered, but yesterday, I just woke up with the biggest smile on my face, which doesn't really happen often, because normally, you know, if, if you're happy when you go to bed, you know, you kind of forget by the time you've woken up, but it's carrying through to the next day, and honestly, London is looking beautiful today. Uh, it's a shame that we've only, you know, got a little bit of time, so what we're gonna do is probably grab some lunch as we head towards the uh, train station. Got lunch, breakfast, um, and then get on the train and uh, get back home, but we love the adventure, so let's keep going. All right, so as we make our way back to the lovely San Pancras station, it's still there. I don't know when it's ever like not there, but look at this thing. It's got the Yanomai's wrap. I might be just be really, really dumb right now and everyone might know whose car this is, but that is one good looking car. So I'll be honest, I was just going to film this car that I'll show you in a sec. And I walked down these stairs I landed on my ankle sideways and that was quite painful and it really hurts but now now I've got to show you the guys' car because that, yeah that sucks. So I want you guys to try and guess oh it's a new one I think. Guess what's underneath this car cover. I think I know what it is. I mean there's a badge there but I think it might be the new one. Uh maybe not. You can see the state of the wheels. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what car do you think it is. Might be really obvious and I might look really stupid. But I think it's a new one. All right, so got another cup of tea. Get the laptop on, go do some editing or something and uh, yeah, enjoy the train ride. Okay, so I've just got off the train in Sheffield and it is really nice to be back home. Um, but what an amazing, amazing weekend that we've had. Uh, talking to Sir Jackie Stewart, shaking his hand talking to Ash Sutton, touring car driver, and he's not just any touring car driver, he's the touring car driver. Um, so what an absolutely amazing experience representing UK drifting um, at a Motorsport UK event is just, I can't believe it, it blows my mind. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching because none of this is possible without you guys. Um, so in that spirit, if you guys did enjoy this video, please do leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Let's do some driving.